So you're going to preheat the oven to 375 as when you start the sausages. When you start cooking the sausages, you're going to want to have them on a medium heat with a little bit of oil, and then you can cover them as well. You want to keep an eye on them and turn them over every so often just so they don't burn. So after the sausages have been cooking for about five minutes, two and a half minutes on each side, you can actually take them out and put them onto a cutting board and just quickly slice them up so they're into thinner pieces, and then you're gonna to want to put them back into the pan after. Just be super careful because they're hot, coming right out of the frying pan. So once the sausages are all brown and cooked free, you're just gonna set them aside, and next you're gonna start sauteing your red peppers and your onions. So you just wanna again have the new pan on medium with a little bit of oil on it, and you're just going to add that in, you can also add the garlic in, and that's just for some flavoring. And you're gonna saute this until the vegetables are cooked through later. So once your peppers are all sauteed with the onions, what you're going to do is lay your hash browns out in a thick casserole dish. And then you're going to add the cooked sausage. I actually cut mine up into small, even smaller pieces. So you're able to have more sausage. And then you're just going to add the peppers. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to stir it all together. And you want to get it all through. And then after you are done mixing it, you're going to add half of your cheese into it. Not all of it because you're going to save the other half for the top after it's done baking. So right now, you just mix some of the cheese into it. There's some wonderful music in the background for you there. So now once you get this all mixed up into how you would like it and how much cheese you want in it, we're actually gonna go back to our scrambled eggs. And you're just gonna wanna give it a quick whisk so everything in there is kind of mixed up. And then once it's all mixed up, you're actually going to want to take it and you're going to pour it right onto your mixture. And now from here, Again, you're going to stir it up, mix it, make sure everything is coated. And then once you're done mixing it up how you've seen fit, you're going to cover it with tin foil and bake it in the oven for about half an hour. I believe it's half an hour. It might be, yeah, half an hour at 375 degrees covered with tin foil. So it's been half an hour since the casserole went in the oven and now you're going to take it out and uncover it and you're just going to layer it with more cheese so you get that nice cheesy layered stuff going on. Then you're going to put it in the oven for another 15 minutes and bake it and then afterwards when you take it out you are going to put some green onions on it and then it's ready to go.